What's up you guys and welcome to our fall capsule wardrobe. This season I have 12 different items with over 60 different outfit combinations. I hope you guys really enjoy. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in that description box. I love you guys so much and let's get started. Starting out with our tops. Number one is a long sleeve Henley. I love these tops for the fall season. It's stretchy for comfort. The ribbon gives it texture. The contrasting buttons gives an extra detail making it really cute for layering and something different than just a plain white tee. Number two is another transitional weather favorite. This is a mock neck sleeveless sweater. It looks so polished and professional, great for personal or work life. And it's a nice hybrid between the soft knits of fall and the sleeveless tank silhouette of a summer top. Number three is a tunic style sweater, just something that hits mid thigh. I find it so versatile because you can wear it by itself with leggings, are also front tucked into some bottoms as an oversized slouchy sweater. Number four is a v-neck sweater. This one is dressier than the last one and it's also got a different neckline with the v-neck, balloon sleeves, hits at the hip, and is also ribbed and stretchy. Moving on to bottoms, I always try to do a mix of pants and skirts. Number five is a sweater pencil skirt. These are so in right now. They're so comfy with a very sexy silhouette. This is actually the bottom half to our number four sweater. I've been trying to incorporate more two-piece sets because they look so cohesive together But obviously we compare them as separates in many different ways number six is a good old pair of jeans Any one of your favorites would do today. I have a medium rinse high-rise mom style So it's got a tapered leg opening that comfortably fits a pair of ankle booties underneath number seven I have this floral dress. This one is a ruffly fluffy Athene dress. I love the feminine ruffles. It gives it a lot of movement and the lightness of this dress is a nice contrast to all of the sweater knits. Number eight is a pair of plaid trousers. I love plaid of course in the fall but also the trousers is a nice light break from the heavy denim of the jeans. It's a classic neutral pattern and it leads me into my next section, the pieces of outerwear. Number nine is a plaid blazer. I love this because it's a professional topper to any outfit Fit, but it also is the matching set to the trousers I just mentioned. Looks great together. They can be worn as separates, just like the sweater two-piece combo. And number 10 is a camel coat again. It's a cardigan. It's a coat. It's something in between that's very soft, but still heavyweight for the chillier days ahead. A camel coat in any form, I think, will complete any look and make you look so put together, no matter what you have underneath. Number 11, I have a ruana or a poncho. I find this to be like a lightweight piece of outerwear, but can also function as an oversized scarf. This one has a new neutral camel plaid print with those cute little tassels on the bottom. And number 12 is a neutral pair of everyday ankle booties. I try to stick with one pair of shoes so they can mix with pants and skirts and dresses without ever having to change your shoes. For me, I just love something skin tone, low comfortable walking heel, fitted shaft, and I find myself wearing them the most often throughout the season. And before we hop into today's clothing accessories, I want to thank today's sponsor, Casetify. Casetify has been one of my favorite resources for the best iPhone cases in terms of design and quality. Here's my personal collection I've gathered over the years and I also have three of their latest designs. As you can see, there's such a great variety of styles available. You can get your name personalized on your case and they even have a biodegradable compostable option too. Pick your favorite colors or dive into one of their fun collaborations with big brands like Coca-Cola, Lisa Frank, Pokemon, and even Hello Kitty. Now they not only look great, the quality is awesome. I have dropped my phone so many times Times and I've never had a cracked screen. Their cases are drop test approved and they offer military grade protection on my favorite cases, the Impact and Ultra Impact. In addition to cases, they have great accessories on their site, AirPod cases, charging pads, UV sanitizers, cloth masks, and my absolute favorite, the tempered glass screen protector. So if you're looking for something new, visit casetify.com backslash Miss Louie to save 20% off your new favorite phone case. I'll include all the details down below in the description box. And then for the accessories that you'll be seeing on screen but I don't actually include in the final capsule count just FYI. I always like to throw in two different handbags that are contrasting. This season I have a brown rich almost sienna colored saddlebag and then a simple elegant black everyday crossbody bag. I feel like these complement each other with the bold gold hardware but they're different enough so that I can 
interchange them with different looks and give them a completely different vibe. And I also have a belt for this capsule. I try to go with the same vibe, minimalist with bold gold hardware, but a belt is really great because you can switch up the silhouettes of different pieces, cinch up your waist and add a new focal point to an outfit as you're changing throughout the capsule. And for a little clothing hack that you don't see in this video, I use a hair tie in some of these looks to tie up the excess back fabric of some of the sweaters or the dress. I flip it into itself so it's seamless and I'm able to transform a piece of clothing into something different for a unique outfit. So just a heads up there. And last but not least, a quick overview of the colors of this season's capsule. So I always start out with my four basic foundation colors. I have black, white or cream, shades of tan or camel, and then denim. Sometimes the rinses will be different, but basically I start off with these four colors first, and then I layer in my accent colors and also patterns. So this season I went with terracotta, browns, just kind of warm neutrals, and I definitely incorporated more contrasting patterns than I normally do. I got the rusty terracotta color from that two-piece sweater set. I've got this wide window pane camel print in the poncho. I also have this small print muted floral from the dress and then I have that nice gray toned plaid from the suit. Even though there's three completely different prints, they're all different scales so they're not fighting against each other and all the colors are kind of accented in each other's pattern. There's reds and golds in the floral dress. There's gray tones in both the plaid and the window pane so everything is still meshing and harmonizing well together. Alright so that is the breakdown of this season's fall capsule. Here are all the outfit combinations you could create with those pieces. I love you guys so much and hope you enjoy.